having to go to this little nitpicky work, waste the money, waste the time, when we could be using that money to help people uh, transition from smoking to vaping. I would like to open more stores. I can't here in Portland, in Multnomah County, in Oregon, and yet our authorities are fighting this. My name is Paul Bates. I'm the owner of Division Vapor in Portland, Oregon. Vaping is an alternative to uh, smoking combustible cigarettes. You use electricity to heat a coil that vaporizes a, a liquid of flavorings which you inhale. That gives you the sensation of smoking without the harms. I started this business about five years ago and it's been hugely rewarding. I mean, we're switching people from smoking to non-smokers. And yet now we have a law that prevents and, and stops us from having freedom of expression to put anything we want on a label for electronic cigarette liquids. Well, there's a tiny little apple there and it looks like a kiwi. The state has basically said that we can't have pictures on our bottles. Um, it's enticing to kids. Um, so what we've done is we have censored these labels with the actual ordinance saying that we need to do that. This is an adult only store. We only allow 21 and over into the store. No child can purchase at this store. And yet we spend three or four hours a week the employees making 13 to $18 an hour, putting labels over offending material on labels. That adds up two, three, four hours a week. It was, you know, what, what choice did we have? Um, it, it's either that or you, you don't have a business. So they've expanded this law actually says you can't even use the word strawberry in the name of a flavor. You can't use it in the description of a flavor. Actually extending a flavor ban onto vapes by way of actually banning the words. Banning words. That's egregious. It's, it's nonsensical and it will not work.